In the diagram, PQR, SQT, TRU are straight line. Calculate the value of X and Y. PQR, SQT, TRU, they are straight line. So first, we want to find the value of X. Now, you see the sign like this. This tells us that SP and SQ, same length. So we know that the triangle SPQ is actually an isosceles triangle. If this is x, here will be x as well. And we know that the sum of the interior angle of a triangle will always equal to 180 degrees. So from here we can write an equation. x plus x plus 68 degree is equal to 180 degree. So x plus x is 2x. So 2x plus 68 degree is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so 2x is equal to 180 degree minus 68 degree. Okay, so 2x is equal to 112 degree, and x is equal to 112 degree, uh, 112 degree divided by 2, which is equal to 56 degree. So once you got the answer, I would suggest you label onto the diagram using a pencil, and because this will be uh, help is to normally after we getting uh, the answer for the first part we always need to use it for the second part not every time but always okay now the next part we want to find the value of y so if this is 56 degree we know this will be 56 degree also vertically opposite angle right okay this is 56 degree so there are three ways that we can find the value of y let me show you the first one first Okay, let me find this angle first. How do we find this angle? This angle is QRT. So angle QRT is equal to 180 degree minus 56 degree minus 62 degree. Uh, 62 degree. So why do I take 180 degree minus this two? Because we know that, as I told just now, the sum of the interior angle of a triangle always equal to 180 degree. So we know that these three angles add up together will equal to 180 degree. So we take 180 degree minus this two, then we will be able to get this angle. So 180 degree minus 56 minus 62, which is equal to 62 degree. Okay, let me label first. Now, and this is a straight angle, right? Which is equal to 180 degree. So now, if you want to find y, you just take 180 degree minus 62 degree. Okay, so y is equal to, this is uh, 8, 1, okay, 118 degree. This is a way how do we find the y. So let me show you another way. So this second method will be faster. So before I show you how to use a second method to get the value of y, you need to understand this one first. Now let's say this is a, this is b, and this is c. We know that a plus b plus c will always equal to 180 degree, right? Okay. So the angle here is actually equal to a plus b. The angle here is actually equal to b plus c. And the angle here is actually equal to a plus c. So if you understand this, then we can get the value of y uh, faster. So y is actually equal to the sum of these two angles, right? Which is equal to 56 degree plus 62 degree. So y is equal to 118 degree. Okay, this is another way that we can get the value of y. Let's try another question. In the diagram, A, B, C, D is a straight line. This is a straight line. Calculate the value of x and y. Now you should see this sign again. So this tells you that C, D, and D, E, same length. So in other words, we know that uh, the triangle C, D, E is an isosceles triangle. So this is 36, we know here must be 36 as well. So now, as I told just now, the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. So now to get the x, 
we just need to take 180 degree minus 36 minus 36. Okay, 180 degree minus 36 two times, you will get 108 degree. Okay, so x is equal to 108 degree. So next part, we want to find uh, the value of y. So focus on this sign. This tells us that B, F, and C, E, they are parallel to each other. When we look at parallel line, we always need to think about the corresponding angle and the sum of the interior angle equal to 180 degree and also alternate angle. Okay, so if this is 36, mm, okay, let me uh, explain to you this way. Now, this is y. This is actually y as well, right? This is corresponding angle. This is y also. Now, from here we know that y is actually equal to 180 degree minus 36, right? 180 degree minus 36. y is equal to 144 degree. Let's try the last one. In the diagram B, C, D, E, okay, B, C, D, E, A, C, F, A, C, F, are straight line. Calculate the value of x and y. So as I told just now, when you look at this type of diagram, you focus on the parallel line, and then think about the uh, alternate angle, and interior ang uh, the sum of the interior angle equal to 180 degree, and also the corresponding angle. Okay, mm, let me find x first. Can you see this one? Uh, these two lines, they are parallel to each other. So this angle is equal to 20 degree also, alternate angle. Now, if you know this is 20 degree, then we will be e uh, able to get the value of x very easy, right? This is a straight angle. We know that it is actually equal to 180 degree. So x is equal to 180 degree minus 20 degree. x is equal to 160 degree. Okay, this is equal to 160 degree. Now, let's find y. We have a triangle over here, right? So as I told just now, the sum of the interior angle of a triangle always equal to 180 degree. So in order to get y, you just need to take 180 degree minus these two. Oops, sorry. 62 degree. Okay, let me check. 180 minus 20 minus 98. Okay, 62 degree. So this is the way how we get the value of y.